can be all around the social model of disability because like, we we're, were just trying to like share ideas, weren't we? Um, and I said to you that the basic idea is people are more disabled by the environment and society's attitudes than the impairment itself. And and you said that you found that quite interesting yeah. as a concept. So we're made disabled by our environment, like you say. So, I mean, I'm fine when I'm on a flat surface, but if there's stairs involved, yeah, then it's a whole different walking, and that's not my fault. Yeah, yeah. Someone's yeah. decided to put stairs, and that's their, it's their fault. Yeah. So places should be accessible, and to make everyone's life easier. Yeah. I mean, I don't get stairs at all. Why would you not have some of those flat? Surely, if you're able-bodied, stairs are a bit harder. Yeah. Are they not? Yeah, yeah. You've got to climb stairs. I prefer slopes. They I mean. would prefer the slopes, <laughs> yeah. And I think I saw that article that you sent me around that girl that had gone to university and she was humiliated because she was asked to sit right at the back. Just, she wasn't anywhere near anyone and she was just on her own in a chair and I just felt like that was such a powerful image of how isolating and different it could make people feel. Yeah, definitely. And I've come across so many sort of places that say they're accessible, but they're not. I've been to a restaurant recently that had stairs into it, and then they said they they were uh, accessible because they had a down they had a Disabled toilet, which yeah. you then downstairs yeah. in the basement. That's terrible. With no lift. Gosh. Yeah. So it, that's worse, isn't it, in a way, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's like you're then stuck in. Yeah. And that's it. I, I just think that's horrible that people would feel embarrassed and it should just be sorted, shouldn't yeah. it, really? Um, but that's. I mean, there's a lot going on now, isn't there? People are taking it more seriously, getting the actual environment better, would you say, or am I being yeah. naive? I think it's definitely changed from when I was growing up. Yeah. Um, but we're still a long way off. Yeah. I think we just need to enforce it more now. Yeah. Because there are laws that say everywhere has to be accessible. Yeah. But there are loopholes with those laws. Yeah. So some buildings, if they're a certain age, don't have to abide by it. Yeah. Which I think is rubbish, actually. Could, I'm yeah. fed up with that. Because <laughs> We're fed up with it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> sort it out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sick of it, as Carl Pretty Wilkinson much. would say. <laughs> what I wanted to talk about next yeah. was a sort of, um, so the social model of disability, we've covered environment. Yeah. Now it's around the stigma as, uh, that society has around disability okay. um, and what it says is that the impairment itself you know you have that yeah. but it's society's views that also affects you so have you got any examples of where you felt like people have treated you in a certain way or maybe had an expectation of I think a lot of the time things. when it comes to disability there's no expectation right so there's no expectation that Disabled people can achieve anything. So, throughout my education, I've always, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm not the stupidest either. Yeah. But I was always said, you know, it would be okay if Miles was just to come in. That was it. That was my, that's what people were expecting of me. They would just make it in school each day. Mm. Which, when you put that such low expectation yeah. on a kid, yeah. they're going to meet that expectation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I got away with a lot yeah. because there was no, nobody thought I could achieve anything um, just because I was disabled, which is actually really sad. Um, and my mum would be tirelessly, would battle with teachers and I just remember there'd be constant arguments yeah. with teachers. Well, I met your mum. Yes. And she was the one that pushed you really towards the sporting side, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah I mean, my folks 
were very kind of in the mindset that I could do whatever I wanted. Yeah. Um, they just wanted me to be uh, happy, but also be able to be independent as well without them. So that's, that was their whole kind of mantra. So for them, for me to be independent would be to succeed in, in my education, in sport, whatever. Whatever that meant that I could be without them when I got to Adelaide. So I suppose if they've always thought of you like that, yeah. was it a shock when you went to school and people were treating you differently? Yes and no. I guess by that stage that I'm just so used to it yeah. that you kind of just don't notice it as much. I've only noticed it now I'm that bit older and away from that environment. Um, I mean, hindsight is such a great thing. Um, because now I think to myself, yeah, I could have been a lot better at school. And some of that was my fault. But when you put a, a kid in a situation where they're allowed to get away with stuff, they're not going to behave. And I have one of those kids. Yeah. I still have. <laughs> yeah. And I think there's another thing. I, I mean, we've been friends for a long time, and it's not a central part the fact that you have a disability. Yeah. It's just like, we're talking about it in depth now for this, but it doesn't define who you are. And I think some people just see that, don't they? Yeah. And, and then people get awkward around yeah. people. And it's and how do you think you can combat that? Because I think there's a lot around what can you say, what can't you say, people would suggest maybe. I think, I think asking yeah. the question about disability, like, don't just go up to someone and say, what's wrong with you? have a bit more kind of eloquence almost about it. It's the way you say it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, get to know them first. Yeah. Um, and if there is an appropriate time and someone does feel like it's an important issue to bring up, don't feel afraid of asking the question. Why is that person in a wheelchair or why does that person look the way they look? Yeah. You know? Um, it's important. So what is it that, that you have? So I have something called arthrogryposis, which is quite a mouthful. Mm -hmm. But it basically means my joints are bent. Um, there's nothing wrong with me internally, other than obviously my voice. But that's just because my trachea is quite narrow. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, you know, my lung capacity is still the same. I'm not going to get worse either. Like I said to you earlier, as you see me now, it's how I'll be in eight years' time. Yeah. You know? Um, and you've always didn't expect your uh, no. public speaking performance the other day. No. Uh, yeah. Smashed it. Yeah. Smashed it. So that's it. Attitudes, setting the bar too low. Yeah. It's just important to treat people equally. Yeah. And that expectations aren't lower because you're in a chair. Yeah. To me, it makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. It really doesn't. That's so, see potential. See potential and don't hold people back. And I think that's why it's so important that the big thing with the, the model itself is that people are seen as the expert. So, you're the expert on your own life yeah. because you are you. Yeah. Um, which, makes sense. which makes sense at a really basic level, doesn't it? So, I'm not going to start pretending that. I would know what a day would be like for you. Yeah. So, so that's that's it really for what social workers are taught to do. Right. Well, okay. That would be quite interesting to engage with a whole new community. Well, yeah, because because that's it. It's just the skill is really yeah. to open the person up to telling you that you know, yeah. and it, and it is a privilege that someone would do that. She must be quite a salesperson, really, because you've got to be able to sell yourself for people to trust you enough for them then to open themselves yeah. up to you in that way. That, that was the thing to do. I, I just find that everyone has their own story and it's just shown that you're actually interested in their story first. Yeah. And then just asking open questions and not rushing too much with that bit. That's cool. Yeah.